In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about how to take care of your heart throughout your life. Now, you took care of yourself well during pregnancy and you have a healthy child. So how are you going to take care of him or her? The most important thing is diet. You have to be very careful that you give the kid nutritious high protein diet which is less in uh, saturated fats and cholesterol. Number two, exercise. The child needs to be involved in some kind of a physical activity. So you take the child to the park or some other recreational or sports activities the child enjoys. Make sure the child does not get obese and regular visits to the pediatrician so that the child's body weight as well as blood pressure and if necessary cholesterol levels can be monitored. During adolescence you have to make sure that your children don't start smoking and they do not drink alcohol. Now during adulthood what, what can you do to prevent heart disease? Now there are certain risk factors which cause heart problem. I'm going to broadly classify them into modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors. Modifiable meaning you can do something, you can take some kind of an action and change the risk factor. Non-modifiable means you cannot change it. What are the non-modifiable risk factors? Number one, age. We cannot influence our age. All of us keep aging. So as we grow older, we become more susceptible for heart disease. Number two, gender. Men are more susceptible for heart disease. For women, during their childbearing years, the estrogens give protection. However, after menopause, the women are at the same risk or a little higher than men for developing heart disease. Family history. We cannot change family history. We cannot choose our birth parents. Some, in some families, heart disease is more prevalent than other families. So we inherit some of these risk factors and we cannot influence this. Now coming to the modifiable risk factors, as I mentioned earlier, diet, regular exercise are very important and you should refrain from smoking and drinking alcohol. That's it for today and please don't forget to subscribe to MDEL.